I know you either absolutely adore color to no end, or you find it to be the most repugnant thing ever. There's generally, oftentimes, very little in between when it comes to color. People either hate it or really, really love it and can't go without it. So, this winter, how do you strike the balance? Well, I told you, winter is coming. And you probably should stay home. Nine out of ten times this winter. Um, but on that off chance that you want to, will visit someone, you know, what are the rules for cuddling? Some tips and tricks. First, always, 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 gain consent. Ask whoever it is. Would you care? Or do you want? Or would you mind? If I, or if we, and then you say cuddle. Now, I generally don't like cuddling, but from time to time it's okay. This winter might be the exception because it's going to be quite cold and you'll need a lot of blankets. I'm telling you, lots of blankets. But you might want to get body heat too, and that's fine too. So we discuss consent, and then really there's only one other trick. How do you approach cut? Well, some people will say, you know, cutting should just will be something you do after you eat or while you're watching a movie. It shouldn't be something that's prearranged. It should just naturally happen. Now. I disagree with that. Even though I dislike cuddling, I disagree with that thought process. Generally speaking, you can prearrange cuddling. Now, I know what you're saying. Cuddling sometimes or oftentimes leads to intimacy. You have no data or statistics to back that up. So, I don't want to hear what you're saying. Gain consent. If you do approach intimacy, you also will gain consent prior to that happening. Cuddling is separate from intimacy. I cuddled to stay warm. Now, I'm trying to tips and tricks. What's some additional things? Well, you don't necessarily have to have a lot of eggnog and rum and bourbon. You can actually, believe it or not, go to a company Christmas party. I know they still have those things. And will not get too drunk off the sauce, but enough to will where you feel you can be sociable in a pleasant way. Sometimes people are sociable but not in a pleasant way. You don't want to socialize with them because they're unpleasant to socialize with. So you have to strike that right balance. And then if you hit it off really well, you can say, hey, would you care to cuddle at some point this winter? You have no idea. This is a popular, very popular trend happening all across Asia, especially in Japan. Now, that's primarily like sheep boys, as they call them. And basically, they just are there and women hire sheep boys to well, cuddle and sleep with them. But here, this is somebody that you might know. So it's not some random person you hire. Anyway, cuddling. It's something that, regardless of what your affiliation or identity is, everybody for the most part, likes cuddling. Unless you don't like cuddling. 
But that has no bearing on your identity or anything else either. You want to know the number one icebreaker prior to any cuddling. Have hot chocolate. It can be hot chocolate, man. I'm not cuddling if there's no hot chocolate. If I smell hot chocolate, hmm, I'm more inclined to cuddle. 